Hi, this is Kai. I'm going to take you through a new feature for Forty Authenticator that was introduced in 6.4.1, which is the Open ID Connect or OIDC. OIDC provides an identity layer on top of the OAuth 2 protocol to verify end user identity and obtain profile information. OIDC is a modern single sign on protocol that is easier and more flexible to use than SAML. Let's take a look at the workflow of OIDC. When an end user attempts to log into a web application, or the relying party, or commonly referring to as RP, the RP redirects the authentication request to the 40 authenticator, or the OIDC provider, the OP. The end user provides a login credential and grants the access with the OP. Then the OP returns a token to the end user, and the end user requests the RP access with that token. Then the RP validates the token with the OP, and RP establishes a connection with the end user. Let's begin with the end user experience. When the user attempts to log into the RP, RP redirects it to the OP. The OP authenticates against the user, and the user grants the access, and using the token, the user gains access to the application. Let's look at the admin experience on the 40 Authenticator. Log in to 40 Authenticator, click on Authentication, OAuth Service, Portals, click on the Create New button, enter a name, turn on the disclaimer, click OK. Next, click on the Policy under OAuth Service, Create New. Fill in a name, select the portal you just created, click Next, Next screen, click Next, and Exit. Next, under OAuth Service, click Relying Party, click Create New, fill in the name, select Authorization Code, Policy, select the policy that you just created. Add a claim, enter username, add another claim, enter email, and select user attribute email, and fill in the redirect URL and click OK. That completes the OIDC configuration. Next, let's take a look at the session in the 40 Authenticator. Click on Monitor, Authentication, All Sessions. Here we can see all the sessions as well as able to revoke the sessions. Finally, let's take a look at the logs. Click on Logging, Access Logs, Logs. Here we can see the logging events as a user tried to log on to the OIDC. We can see the authentication event, authentication being successful, and the OP returns a token, and the RP verifies the token. That concludes the OIDC demo. Thank you for watching.